Welcome to Tech Brothers with Amir. In this video, we are going to learn how to import data from multiple Excel sheets. So with the pattern of a sheet name um, from multiple Excel files in SSIS package. Now let's go ahead and understand this requirement. Here I have three Excel files sitting in one of the folder source folder. Open the very first Excel file and we see here this uh, first sheet is a customer and second sheet is a sheet two. What is our requirement? We are looking for a keyword such as customer in our Excel file sheet name. So once that sheet has that name such as customer, we would load that data to our table. Any other sheets we are not going to load that. This is very basic requirement. We get tons of files and uh, there are only one or two sheet that has a specific name and that's that's all we consider to load and rest of that we want to ignore so this package is going to help us to uh, perform that requirement now close the, the excel file let's go to second one and uh, here we have a uh, my sheet and customer one so we would like to load uh, this uh, sh uh, sheet uh, that's customer one because customer uh, keyword does exist in this uh, sheet name and uh, if you notice that we have id name and date of birth uh, columns for all the customer sheets so let's go to the last excel file and uh, here we have a uh, my name and test so no sheet has uh, uh, customer keyword in their name so none of the data will be loaded uh, from these uh, excel sheets so let's close this one now very first thing we have to do we have to create a table uh, where we are going to load this uh, information and we know that we, that has to have uh, id name and date of birth columns uh, we understand from our sheet structure and see we have a customer and that has id name and uh, date of birth uh, uh, let's go ahead and open uh, SSIS uh, video tutorial on techbrothersit.com and go to this post so we can copy the script from there. Here on the number 11, how to import data from multiple Excel sheets uh, with the pattern of sheet names from multiple Excel files in SSIS package. That's where you're going to click. This is under the script task heading. I will put the link in the description of a video as well so you don't have to come here all the way. Let's uh, Take the definition of a table, go to the SSMS, go to your database. I have already created one uh, table with the name customer. I'm going to drop that one. So let's del delete it. It's going to throw error probably because it's already open in a select query. So close that query. And now let's drop the table. Okay, table dropped successfully. That's a good thing. Now we are going to go and create uh, this table in Tech Brothers sorry okay so the table is created let's uh, take a look by running a select query all good now we'll be going to the ssdt sql server data tools and creating a new package right click on ssis package rename this one uh, load all excel by sheet name matching We will be creating a few variables here. We will be creating a variable because we want to change the folder from where we are reading the file. Maybe we want to change the table name and schema name for that table in different environments such as QA, UAT and production. So it's a good idea to create those variables and use them in configuration. And whenever we need to change anything, we can just pass the value in configuration and it will take care of it. We do not have to make changes in the package. First of all, we will be creating source folder that's where our files are and uh, it is going to be string now copy the path come back to the ssdt ssis package here now we will be providing schema name for our table where we are loading these uh, files uh, so in my case it is dbo maybe in your case it's sale or whatever you can go ahead and provide that and here we have table name uh, in my case it is customer in your case maybe customer agent so uh, provide the correct uh, table name the next part we will be using here we, as we need to uh, load the data from excel file to the sql server table we need a database connection we are going to go to the connection managers panel right click here add a new radio.net connection i'm going to delete the old one create the new one here we have to provide sql server instance name and the database name 
my instance name is the Amir PC backslash C equal 2016 and I'm going to use the Tech Brothers IT database to load this information. Hit OK. All good. The name is Amir PC backslash C equal server 2016. I don't like that name. Let's rename this one. Give some proper name. Let's call this one DB connection underscore Tech Brothers IT. So that's how we would know that once we will create the configuration. Hey, this is uh, the connection manager for our database. Uh, bring the script as uh, in the control flow pan. Save your package is a good idea. Uh, go to the script as and use those uh, variables here. I'm going to use uh, all the user variables. See, these are system. We want. We are trying to find the system variable, uh, user variables. So I see one of them here, schema name, another one here, and another one here. We are all good here. Now we will click on edit script. We'll go back to the techbrothersit.com and we will copy the C sharp code from there and paste in this editor window. Under the namespaces, we will be going here and then just hit enter, go to next line, and this is the code we will be copying and pasting. So using system.ios, using data.oladb. Uh, using system.data.sql client. These are the different name classes we have to use. So we can use different function and instances from these uh, namespaces. That's done. Next part, we will be coming to the public void main and here we will be pasting our script. So go back to the uh, techbrothersit.com or to this link and copy everything from here. So all the way and you will be going till here copy also if you don't like this part uh, copying from here I have uh, already put the link here so download script you can download it and then uh, copy from there so it's very simple the same way we copy it from there you will be copying from uh, here and uh, just you know go all the way till here and then uh, paste it in your editor so doesn't matter you copy from this but this is more clean as I have loaded uh, to the Google Drive and uh, you can uh, pretty much use the entire code uh, th these parts uh, see the namespaces part you can copy from there and paste it uh, and uh, remove this uh, all those uh, uh, by default uh, or comments part uh, let's go back to the SSDT and here we have editor I'm gonna paste my code let's save it build it so if there would be any error some uh, uh, maybe parentheses is missing or curly brackets missing you can at least uh, take a look uh, oh okay this is missing so you can correct that even we have pasted the script there are a few things it did not throw error let's say folder path if i will uh, click on here so we have now i have source folder so i change the name of a variable while i was creating this package so okay source folder is the new variable in ssis package but in the script i am still using folder path so i'm going to go ahead and change this source folder why I, I could have just keep the folder path here and uh, I will never make a change because I want you to understand if you have different variables how to use them here we are creating these variables and then uh, mapping these uh, variables uh, with our uh, uh, SSIS variable and uh, see here one of the variable I totally missed uh, sheet name like so that's also a variable I need to create in SSIS package because that's where I can pass the keyword that I want to match so I'm gonna save this one come back here and uh, click OK, create a new variable, and I'm going to call this one sheet name like, and uh, this is going to be string as well. And we are looking uh, for sheet that has customer uh, keyword in that. So you can, if uh, let's say you have a, when you don't want all the way customer, you can go simple cust or uh, you know, so if you are looking for a sale keyword in the sheet name, you can put that. In my case, uh, it is customer, so I'm gonna use the customer whole thing here. That's good. We will come back to the script task, and here we will use that variable. We have to add that uh, variable, find this variable where it's a user and sheet name. So we have to do this one again, edit very uh, edit script. It's going to take a couple of seconds to open it. Now we have uh, created these uh, variables here and then map the SSIS variable to them. So it will save uh, the values to these variables. We can use them. Here we are getting uh, the directories. Uh, so we will get the directories uh, from this uh, folder path. Uh, and uh, then once we have direct information, then we will get all the files 
uh, for, for uh, which exist in this uh, folder path. Once we have the files, uh, Excel file names and uh, all the information, we can loop through and uh, use them. Here, I'm uh, declaring a variable called file full path, and uh, that I will be used in uh, here in the connection manager of uh, uh, Excel. Now, if you take a look here, I'm going to send a SQL connection, my ADO.NET uh, ADO connection here. New, so I'm creating a new instance, but here, the name is incorrect so i did uh, by purpose as well so i want you to understand so we need to change this one so db connection tech brothers it why i did that because in your case you will not have even db connection you will have maybe sales or uh, hr or whatever the database name you have it so you have to make change here to use that so save your script and next uh, as we have the list of the files now we can loop through once we will uh, uh, go through that we will uh, have uh, save the va values in a file full path that's going to be folder path so backslash file name so this will com save complete path for our excel file so this path backslash this excel file name let's go back here i'm creating a couple of more uh, uh, variables and uh, um, connect, uh, connection string and HDR and HDR I'm saying yes because we have the header in each of the uh, Excel sheet and then I'm saying connection string variable equal to provider Microsoft dot AC to no db dot 12.0 so this is the where we are using this provider to connect to the Excel and the file full path that's the Excel file path we have built on each of the iteration so every time it is going to loop through it is going to be different file now once we have that we will get the schema for those uh, tables so each sheet is is a, is a table so we got that schema and uh, here what i'm saying uh, this data data table the table is going to have that information so it ha will have list of those uh, um, it, it will have the uh, table names or catalog name and all that but we are only interested to get the table name from that uh, that uh, data table so once uh, we will loop through that part and get the sheet name we need a sheet name variable where we can save that sheet name see here I'm creating a variable and setting to blank and then I'm looping through this uh, uh, data uh, table and uh, getting the sheet name so we are using say, then if a table name uh, contains the dollar sign that means if that uh, value does contain the dollar sign that means it's a sheet name okay then set uh, that uh, uh, table name dot uh, to this uh, sheet name so once uh, we have the sheet name fine then what we are doing if sheet name contains remember we are looking for a keyword a customer so here I said sheet name contains if that sheet name has a sheet name to load remember here we have created this variable and the value is equal to the sheet name like so that come from our SSIS variable whatever we provide here so if you are looking for customer or sales that's what you need to provide and in the script we are looking and checking if uh, that is in the sheet name if it is in the sheet name great then go ahead and load the information if not then end that sheet name and come to the next sheet so once uh, let's say this is a true we what we are doing we go in and getting all the information uh, for the header from that excel and then we are looping through and uh, checking uh, against our database um, so we will build this query if all the columns in that sheet uh, does match or whatever the columns does does match uh, with our table definition load those uh, columns data otherwise uh, ignore the other ones here you could have uh, put multiple scenarios let's say you want to fail your package and uh, uh, you can handle that let's say if you if sheet uh, all the columns in the sheet does not match you want to log that information to a table so you can do that too but in my case I will say okay if there is an extra column I don't care about that I just want to ignore it and load the matching columns data so this is the, the logic I am using here to go ahead and build the string build the list of the columns which matches with my database columns so it's going to give me SQL column list at the end 
uh, I have these scenarios uh, here, uh, already in the videos. Okay, if you uh, want to compare your columns with the table and the uh, co column does not match from Excel sheet to the table uh, or vice versa, then uh, you will just uh, put that information into the table and uh, then move to the next uh, Excel sheet. So uh, you can watch those videos and see how I handle that part. In this case, we are loading the data for matching columns. Uh, once uh, that's done, we are going to go ahead and we say select uh, everything, so it's equal columns. These are the matching columns, we got it. Uh, once we have that, we, we are going to go back to the Excel sheet and uh, get all the records for those columns. So we are saying select uh, SQL column list from a sheet name. So get all, all the data and put into the data table called data table 1. Now we have the data table um, uh, one ready and we can write to the SQL table. So we are using SQL bulk copy here and say in our destination table, that's our schema name and table name. Remember these two variables, uh, we, are, we are passing these values uh, from the SSIS uh, uh, variables. So we have that and then uh, at the end what we have, we are mapping the columns uh, and uh, finally writing the data to the SQL uh, server table. So this is it. One more thing I would like to tell you guys here. Uh, this part, see, I'm saying sh uh, sheet name dot contain SQL name to load. Uh, this is the sheet and uh, this is the value we are uh, setting uh, right here in our variables. Uh, so we are using a uh, sheet name like, see, you can change a lot of scenarios here. Let's say if my sheet name start with the first three characters. Uh, so you can maybe use substring and put equal to instead of contains. Uh, so sheet name uh, uh, substring here on a first three characters is equal to uh, my sheet name uh, to load. So you can compare last three characters, whatever. So this is the way part of where you are comparing it. So in my case, if that does contain that keyword, that's enough for me. But in your case, you might want to match exactly first three characters or last three characters or find maybe specific uh, keyword in that uh, or pattern. So you can use this uh, statement, change a little bit and uh, change according to your requirement. So thanks very much for this, this part, taking this time. And I appreciate, I know this is a really lengthy video, but we have to go through all components of the this SSIS package. Now it is ready and uh, we are going to go ahead and run the package. So let's go and run the package and see what it loads. If you notice here, the package is still running. That's also thing, once uh, your Excel is open, uh, it will keep uh, running. Uh, so you need to close your Excel uh, files. Uh, if I will close my Excel file, the data is loaded, but it's still keeping running. I don't want to waste time here. Stop the package. I'm going to table, run the query. Okay, it loaded the data from those uh, sheets. Uh, so that's great. But I'm gonna go ahead and truncate uh, this table and redo. So you can see what I'm talking about. Lesson to learn, if your Excel files are open, your SSIS package is going to spin and spin and spin. So always close your Excel files before you run your SSIS package. Now let's rerun. Now it should be loaded quickly, completed successfully, that's great. Come back to the table, run it, and we see that the data is loaded up from those customer sheets only. The other sheets are ignored totally. So thanks very much for watching this video. I will put the link uh, uh, in the description of this video for the code and you can uh, copy from there. And uh, I hope you learned something out of this uh, video. I appreciate your time and see you guys in next uh, video.